Taking our working file, the software development sections, .mpp, we're now able to progress with our project building and add in individual tasks for all the items that are going to take place. So far we have the sections and the phases. So we have four phases and then each of those phases has a number of sections within it. If we take the initiation phase, that has firstly an initial section of meet clients. Now meet clients can be broken down to a number of actual specific tasks. So if we want to insert some tasks as tasks below meet clients, then we need to go below and insert task. First of those tasks is an initial managers meeting to effectively get the ball rolling. Now, now that we're actually adding in a specific actual task, we can start to look at exploring the durations. Now the durations in project can be measured in a smaller unit as minutes and the biggest unit as months. But we need to put in how long do we think this initial manager's meeting is going to last? Well, I think it's going to last a few hours, but not a number of days. If I want it to say last four hours, then I would put four H. And once I tap through, the width of the bar that represents the initial manager's meeting on my Gantt chart shrinks up to four hours and the start date and the finish date is still now the 1st of January. Now notice I typed 4H but project has changed that to 4 space HRS so the full abbreviation. Just as an experiment if I didn't want to put hours in but I wanted to put minutes then I could put 40M for 40 minutes and we can see the long abbreviation changes and it becomes obvious that it's minutes. Maybe I would want to put two days well, that would be 2D, and when I tab through, it becomes two days. Maybe I would want to measure it in weeks. One week, one W, tab through, and one W becomes one WK. And I can see again on the Gantt chart, the length of that task is responding to the changes I've made in the duration. You'll also see that the summary, the initiation phase changes because that's now got to last the same length as the tasks within it. So that becomes five days. However, my initial manager's meeting is not going to be a week. It's going to be our 4H as agreed. Now, at the moment, the initial manager's meeting is not actually a task within meet clients. I need to indent it further. So I use the same little icon as I did previously to indent. And now initial manager's meeting becomes a task that lasts four hours within the meet clients section. The meet clients section is within the initiation phase. If I want another task within this meet client section, then I simply insert below again and add in my next task, which is actually going to be an informal team meeting. So I get to meet the rest of the people that obviously this piece of software is going to affect so we can discuss their needs and requirements. Now an informal team meeting might actually involve a couple of meetings over a number of days with different teams. So we need to allow a bit longer for the duration. I'm going to put 3D for three days. So we can see again the response here in the Gantt chart, the duration of the meet clients section then expands to suit that new width and then the initiation phase also expands. So the heading sections will always expand to encompass the tasks within it. So those are effectively just my only two tasks within the meet clients section. Discuss needs was a section so I need to go below there to insert another task and the task for discuss needs Firstly involves a meeting to discuss those needs, which could be a four hour meeting. I need to again indent meeting to discuss needs so that it becomes a subtask for discuss needs. Now I actually have two more to add in here. So let's go right click, insert task, right click, insert task. And we can add in our two other tasks for the discuss needs section, which is to produce a proposal which might actually take us a week. And then we need to discuss that proposal and hopefully come to some agreement. So discuss proposal, that could take a number of days with to and fro in. And we can see our durations are being entered. The bars in the Gantt chart are responding. Everything starts on the same day at the moment. Bear that in mind. We haven't looked at how to create any relationships and dependencies on our tasks as yet. So everything starts on the first day of the project, which is January the 1st. Obviously that is not very real. As we build our project plan and build our dependencies, we'll see it become a much more realistic plan. So at the moment we've been able here to add in some more tasks by inserting some 
tasks, so that inserts a new row, we enter the task, we enter the task duration, and then if that task needs to be part of a section, we make sure that it's in that section. If we were to come down to the execution phase and look at the design section, I need to insert a number of tasks in here. So let's highlight a number of rows and insert tasks. That gives me some blank tasks ready to insert the design tasks. I want the design to be a heading. So let's highlight these new tasks that don't yet have a name and indent those. And they then become tasks for the design section. That then allows me to enter the design tasks. So the first of those will be to create the data architecture, which may take us two days, 2.5 days, 2.5D. Create hardware architecture, which is going to take us one and a half days, so 1.5D. We need to perform an impact analysis. That could take us four days. We need to develop some kind of impact strategy. So what the likely effect of implementing this new piece of software take two days and then we can actually start designing the items themselves the first of which will be the ui the user interface and the design of that could take three weeks so that's three w now i've put three weeks which has allowed us to use most of the abbreviations m for minutes h for hours d for days w for weeks one we haven't used is mo for months so let's make sure that the design of the user interface is actually going to take a month so that's one mo and you can see that changes to one mon and we get a big blue bar for a whole month in the gantt chart so we've been able here to add in tasks that belong to each of the sections within a phase simply insert a new task which inserts you a new row enter the task name and its duration at the moment start and finish are all auto scheduled which means they're driven by project so until there are any dependencies every single task will start on the first day of the project so they're all starting on the 1st of january at the moment now that's one way of entering tasks we do have a second way which we're going to explore shortly and that's the ability to actually bring these tasks in from some other piece of software if you've already created a document and these tasks already exist effectively because you've gone through and decided on them before you create the project file and it seems silly having to type them all in again when we can actually import them so that's going to be our next stage to import the remaining tasks into our project plan